In this video, I will be teaching you how to draw the absolute value graphs of trigonometric equations. So this should be pretty easy for you because you already know how to draw trigonometric graphs and you already know how to draw absolute value graphs. So let's start out by drawing the graph of y is equal to the absolute value of cosine of x. So let's start by drawing our axis. So y axis, this right here, is our x axis. So the first step as always is to draw our graph without the absolute value sign. So we just draw y is equal to cosine of x. And that will look something like this. So this right here is one. This is negative one, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 70 degrees and 360 degrees is over here. Now with the absolute value, what we do is we want to make everything positive. So we simply reflect everything that is below the axis uh, above the to become above the axis. So that will look like this. So whereas this was coming down to negative one over here, over here it will come to the point one instead. And then we can erase this, what we had before. And our final graph will look like this. That's simple enough. We just had to take our original graph and reflect everything that was negative in the x-axis and we got our absolute value graph. Now let's say that we have to sketch the graph of y is equal to sine of 2x. So let's try our axis again. So y-axis and this is our x-axis, or actually, I'm sorry, this should be the absolute value of y is equal to sine of 2x. So the first step is to graph sine of 2x. So we'll obviously start by drawing sine of x. So that will look like this. This is 180 degrees. This is 360 degrees, and then 270 degrees and 90 degrees. Now what we want to do is we want to change the period. So the new period is equal to the old period, which is 360 degrees over two. So our graph will repeat itself after 180 degrees. So that will look like this. So this is the graph of y is equal to sine 2x and now what we want to do is we want to take the absolute value so we simply reflect all the negative parts of our graph so that's this part and this part in the x-axis so this will come like this let's make that a bit neater and then this part will come over here like this and technically they should all be the same height so we can erase what we had before. This is the graph of y is equal to sine of 2x. And all of these should be going through the point y is equal to 1. So there isn't really much to it if you already know how to graph absolute value graphs and trigonometric graphs. And if you don't, I have videos in previously in this chapter and as well as in different chapters that cover those topics.